Wales putting themselves under unnecessary pressure. Namo yeah. is on for Afiaki, uh, the brother of Johnny Namo, who used to play for Harlequins. Johnny was a centre, his brother's a lock. Bad mistake by Wales, you just cannot let a restart bounce. And that is Namo. Immediately making his impression felt. It's a good drive by the Tongans. Good ball, they're controlling it well. 15 metres short of that Welsh line. Left someone's head behind. I hope it's a head guard. Oh, this is tremendous stuff from the Tongans. There's the line. Can they make it? Ben Herkivalu's there. Salilo Martins waits. They've got to get that ball moving. Keep it moving. And they've done it. Cavallo. Go backs and forwards in there. Holla drives to the line. Meter short. Try for Tonga. That was sensational forward play from the Polynesians. They had so much control and direction there. And now they are right back in this match. Five points adrift of Wales. With 15 minutes to go. One well, of the most unlike Tonga try you'll ever see. And Wales paid the price for not looking after the restart ball, allowing it to bounce, a rushed clearance kick, and the line out, and a 20 yard drive from the Tongan forwards who kept their patience, kept their composure, kept their organisation, and eventually got over that Welsh line. Very disappointing try to concede from a Welsh viewpoint, but certainly the captain in there, Cavalu, organising everything. Well, the ball was like a chariot at pace, and of course, Ben Hur had the score. 20 points to 15. And I suspect a few tummy offsets in the Welsh Valleys in the next 15 minutes or so. And a really important kick, because that'll just narrow it to three points, and the penalty can get them the draw, and Wales do not want a draw. That would not be good enough for them. We put enormous pressure on there game against Italy next week maybe the pressure is getting to Pierre Hollow that's a couple of very important kicks he's missed now it would be so important Stephen Jones has missed a few for Wales but they're delighted the Tongans here what a, a strong Polynesian influence here in Canberra in the capital it's so typical of a side like Tonga, just when we think the forwards are down and out, they come back with a try like that. Well, Wales have got a boost fire to put out now. 66 and a half minutes gone. And Akita, he knocks forward again from the restart. Maybe somebody else should be calling for those. He's knocked on a couple of times. Here's Yeston Harris, and here's a chance. But it's good covering defence. Very quickly up there over Tonga. Pick up by Wyatt. Chris Wyatt, so strong. Martins brings him down. Jones, Harris, big numbers again, Wales as Harris feeds it wide to Martin Williams and a try for Wales, he adds five points to his drop goal and that's what you call an impact player from the bench. The British Lion makes his contribution, eight points to the Welsh cause and it's now 25-15 and what a perfect riposte from the Red Dragons. Absolutely spot on. Justin Harris may have had a quietest sort of game, but watch this for timing, decision making. Drew the defence in, knocked the ball over the top, knew there were numbers out there. Super play by Justin Harris. He knows what's on, he knows who's available. Lovely. Class vision from Harris, who was the standout player for Wales against Canada. And he does seem to have that extra little bit of time. And he certainly looks around him. Stephen Jones strikes the conversion beautifully. And that will have a settling effect on the nation. It certainly will, coming straight after conceding that Tongan try. Crowd, not a little bit muted and risen to their feet. They always like to support the underdog here in uh, Australia. 
And also they put Tom Jones over the loudspeakers. Yeah. <laughs> Off CD, not live. Jones, that look forward. Not forward anyway. Siddeley couldn't quite grasp it. Just thinking about it, you know, all that came from a very basic error from Tonga. Fanakito's inability to to take the restart. It was an easy easy enough ball for him to take, and then Wales were away, and they're maybe away again. Crashing over the game line, there goes David Jones, showing tremendous strength and authority. Stephen Jones. Now again, they have numbers out wide. Yeston Harris at a three to two inside his own half, though. Decides to go for the kick. Fanua gets it back to Vaniaki. And uh, as we have pointed out so many times, he either misses touch or he slices up. Yeah, he's not had a bad game though, apart from his kicking. But uh, well played, Gaffer Jones. He's pulled into number eight since Alex Popham went off, and that was a great pick up from the base of the scrum. Good control. Yeston Harris had the option of going wide. It was certainly on. But elected to go for territory. Nathan Davis, taken by Chris White, but not straight. Well, with ten minutes to go, there's going to come a stage where Tonga have got to chance their arm from every every position. Obviously, they're well behind now. Imagine that, that Paul Hunnis has a theodolite or something out there because that wasn't straight, it was only an inch or two off. Well, a converted try for Tonga gets them a point if Wales don't add to their 27 on the board. So they've got to think positively. Oh, a bit of confusion the base of that scrummage, Cavallo. And Martin's not quite knowing what each other was doing. They've recovered, though. And thank goodness have they recovered. Coming away now, it's Vaki. Vaki sets it for Martins. And was there crossing? Accident? Yeah, there was. Accidental offside. The man who's penalised is the replacement, Efram Tuakafa. Pity that, because there was space behind the Welsh defence there. And... Tongans may well have broken through. A couple of times they've got around the fringes, and uh, certainly Pulu was blocking any Welsh tackler on on Martins. Nathan Davis being replaced by Hugh Bennett. Who actually played uh, schools rugby for England, but has Welsh parents. He's on, he's not bound, it's out. Colin Charvis tries to clear it, clear a passage for the ball and manages to do so. Obstruction, was it? Yeah, it was again. He's been very harsh on that. You sort of get to know what a referee looks for in the end. Well, I thought it was pretty much the same as the one with Martins, to be frank with you. That was a scrum. So, um, given the penalty. Thankfully, the downpour of earlier has ceased. Conditions much better here. Replacement hooker to a Kafa. And Nafahu's come on for Fenukita as well. To Kafa. Just outside the Welsh 22. forward trying to roll Lavaca oh and stamping and climbing and all sorts of things by uh, Lea Tafo the touch judge has his flag up he's on the pitch for a word this player was on his feet he had all right to the ball George Ayub that's a word 
he's going to insist on the word, isn't he? He's walked all the way to Hodes to say it. And I think it was this uh, mountain climbing that uh, Tonga embarked upon. I think Chris Bonington would have been proud of that. Wells already got the penalty, so it's going to be inconsequential, to be perfectly frank with you. And uh, certainly, the Itua was the man who's been... Uh, there you go. Don't be stupid. Come on and play positive rugby. Stay with the original penalty. So he's got a warning. He does that sort of thing again. George Ayub, the uh, touch judge, has got into the game. Him, guys. Stay behind him. Well, he grew up in Australia. I think he thought he was in the snowy mountains there. Certainly a fine attempt on the uh, summit. But Wales leading 27 points to 15. Seven minutes to go. So it looks like it's going to be a second consecutive victory for the Welsh, having beaten Canada in their opening well, game by 41 game. points to 10. What they would one. really like is a, a couple of late tries to pick up the bonus point. Well, that would be juicy. Sadoli, Peel, Stephen Jones, the centres were miles away, so the, the kick was the obvious option tactically. Vianaku has to release the ball and does so. And that's another good break by the big second row forward. He's done it twice now, Vaki. And Vaki finds support from Ben Hur. Kavala, not too far away, the Tongans. And they're there in numbers. And it's good presentation of the ball for Stephen Martins. Very accurate. Tackled by Jones. Three metres short. Martins. Tile driving in. It's the big prop forward. Lavaca. Well, it's a steam hammer assault with this Welsh line here in the closing minutes. Salilo Martins gets it back to Holla. Jones again with the important tackle. And they're going to get a penalty offside against the Welsh. Go line, go line. Well, Wales once again paying the price for leaving the fringes unlocked. And straight through the middle, down the middle. Scrum. Decision time. Scrum. Playing for a scrum, which is untong and light. Obviously, haven't been practicing their uh, practicing their moves. What a run by Vaki, the Parma lock, 27-year-old, and then tremendous support and handling by the Fijians. It was an important tackle in the end by Tom Shanklin getting back, but but Tonga calling for a scrummage. It's, okay, it's improved in the last 20 minutes or so, but really it's not one of their favourite things. Head over the mark, please. Well, I can't believe there's going to be anything other than Channel 1, and by Channel 1 I mean in and out, and out away from the number eight's feet and out into the back line. I can't believe they're going to go for anything more ambitious than that, unless he picks it up at number eight. Which is exactly what he does. Ben Hur trying to get support, gets it eventually. And I tell you what, this second row forward has got great pace, Vaki. Really is a, a line breaker. Cavallo clears the ball out. And tries to. Ball is off the ground. Tompkins are going to get the scrummage. That five, white scrum. Williams not too happy with the decision. So we're playing on, guys, we're playing on. To say the Tongan cheerleaders are not the most attractive ones I've ever seen. Well, he's certainly made What's an impact, this man. He goes straight and he goes hard and he goes pretty quick as well. That did go forward, actually. Martin Williams was you absolutely right. right now, but you've just got to get on with it, especially when you're a couple of yards from your line. Not that surprised to see Vaki playing so well in the Luciano, this fella, because he scored nine tries in the 2002 Commonwealth Games sevens, uh, where Tonga reached the bowl final, where they lost to Scotland. So, he's a runner. Yeah, that's not a bad scrum. Well, yeah, it's rumbled now. But we're still going to get the ball, I think, here. Yeah, it's a penalty. I think they should try this quick channel one ball if they go for the, the scrummage. Maybe they go to the corner this time. Try something a little bit different. Now they want the scrum again. Three penalties in a row for Wales, against Wales, and uh, under normal circumstances, that means yellow cards come out. If you look at Jim Love, the Tongan coach, 
I'll tell you what, they're fighting to the end, Tongi. He's going to be uh, pleased with their attitude on, on that front. But this is taking up time now. You know, gone 77 minutes. And uh, Steve Hansen uh, talking into his microphone. Well, uh, a lot of upsides tonight. They've done, done a lot of things very well. The 